What is involved in the surveillance of the U.S. markets? So, the interesting question. It's a it's a very complex web of, of markets that we have to that we do at Finra that we do the market surveillance. We surveil both the equities, the options, and the fixed income markets in the U.S. And the fixed income, we do everything kind of except for U.S. Treasuries. Um, you know what that involves is actually bringing in data sources, uh, a myriad of data sources from all these various different exchanges. There's 18 nationally listed exchanges, and all, almost all of these fees are proprietary in some form or another. So a big piece of what we have to do is collect and aggregate all of this data. But the real challenge is, is what we do is that what we do is normalize that data so that we can actually do a cross product surveillance and a cross market surveillance, so that we can see the activity that's going on across these, and then be able to run what we call surveillance patterns against this, which are programs against the data that look for anomaly detection effectively. Things like watch sales, insider trading, um, as well as other compliance related items. From there, then we find these areas of interest within the market events, and then we need to conduct an investigation off of this. So the users need tools around this to easily navigate through these you know, billions of rows of data that we have every day that then can, they can make a, a, a determination of whether or not a rule violation had occurred or not. And if so, then they'll conduct basically an investigation. These can last days or weeks or sometimes months or years, depending on the type of investigation that it is, if it's a market manipulation or an insider trading case. It's interesting. So you bring in 30 billion events per day. On average, yes. What is your strategy for processing and analyzing all this data? So right now we're actually in the, I'll say we're in the throes of actually kind of changing what those data platforms are. We currently operate out of our own data center, um, but over the last year we've been migrating up to the cloud because we're trying to get rid of really the physical capacity constraints of having it. Um, and the advantage of having much more capacity and elastic capacity, both in storage and in compute on the cloud, provides us big ad advantages around that. As I was saying earlier, we effectively kind of collect all of the data and then create cross-market models across this that normalize the events across the different exchanges, and then we run surveillances against these. And for instance, you know, we, we on average pull in 30 billion plus records a day, but the markets are all sized for peak. So just recently, back in October, there was a lot of market volatility. We actually had a couple of 55 billion record days on top of that. So moving up to the cloud provides a lot of that elastic capacity so that we can surge and be able to do compute but do that in a much more cost effective way. So just in general, what people or projects are you following? What are you finding personally or professionally exciting these days? Um, so really in the technology areas, a couple of the ones that I personally am following is, is the areas of SQL on Hadoop. Um, so things like both like Presto, the Stinger Next and Impala and where are these products and they're all competing and it's a really fast evolving ecosystem. Um, we're also looking at Spark and sort of the evolution around that um, to see is that a much more efficient way for us to do our data processing as opposed to a, a Hadoop and MapReduce world. Um, you know, outside of that, I, I live in Washington, D.C. and in the financial market, so it's always kind of interesting to watch the interplay of what's going on in, in the financial markets and what's going on with Congress. Um, a lot of my friends and family are in that area in that arena. Um, so it's interesting to see what's going on policy-wise over there and then how that, that impacts what goes on in the SEC or in capital markets as well. That's interesting. Thank you for talking with me today. It was my pleasure.